Hello, my name is Terry White, and it's my pleasure to take you through what's new for Lightroom CC on iOS. I've got my iPhone 10 here, and I've got several images loaded in this particular album, and what I'd love to do is start off with the brand new profiles. I'm going to go ahead and tap on one of my images here, and I can, of course, scroll through and get to all my traditional edits, but one of my new editing categories are the Lightroom CC profiles. When I get to the profiles, I can switch from my Adobe Raw profiles or my camera matching profiles, but let's start with Adobe Raw because traditionally, a photo like this would be on Adobe Standard. And Adobe Standard's a nice, flat, unprocessed starting point. However, Starting today, any new photos you import will automatically be applied to Adobe Color. Now, Adobe Color is going to give it a little bit more color, make the image look a little bit more colorful the way it was when you took it. Now, from there, you can, of course, switch to anything else you want because these are all non-destructive and you can switch at any time. So in this case, I'd love to switch to Adobe Landscape since this is a landscape photo and that will give me a much better starting point. Now, of course, the Adobe Raw profiles will only appear if you have a raw image selected. If you have a JPEG, a TIFF, a Photoshop file selected, then you will not see the Adobe Raw profiles. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with that one. That still doesn't mean that I'm finished. It means that I've now got a better starting point. So if I head to the light tab, I can, for example, bring down exposure a bit on this particular photo, like so. I can, of course, bring up the contrast a bit. I can really bring down the highlights to bring out that sky. And of course, bring up the shadows a bit to cover what I did with the highlights. And of course, we can bring up the whites a bit and maybe the blacks a bit more. And of course, at any given time, we can go in and work with our effects so that we can get to things like dehaze. All right, so let's go to the effects area. And of course, just add a bit of dehaze to this particular photo. So we've gotten pretty far pretty quickly, again, by having that nice profile to start with. Now, we don't have to stop there. And again, at any given time, if you decide that that profile should be different. You can always switch back to the profiles and you can try something different. You're gonna try Adobe Neutral. You can go back to Adobe Standard. You can go to the new Adobe Vivid. I kinda like that one better for this particular photo. All right, so let's get out of this photo and now let's take a look at something that I've been wanting inside of Lightroom on my phone and my iPad for a long time and that is the new geometry features. So if I switch to the new geometry tab, you'll see things like upright. You have the ability to even do an auto upright or a full upright, the same way you have been doing for a while now on the desktop. But that's not the exciting part. Let me go back to off, because auto or full doesn't really fix this photo the way I'd love to. Instead, on the desktop, I would do a guided upright, and now I have the ability to do a guided upright right here on my phone. So I'm just gonna use my finger to pull out some guides, and I'm gonna have to pull out more than a couple. Now you need two to make the feature even work. So there's my first one, nothing happens. Then I'll come over to this window, and once I get that one, we can start to see the upright take place. But this image has so much distortion in it, that I'm gonna to need to pull out a few more. So I'm gonna go ahead and go at the top of the window here and at the bottom of the window. Now I didn't really get, the good, get a good spot for that one, but no problem, you can always pick these up and you can move them around. So if you didn't get it just right with your finger, no worries, you can go ahead and fix it whenever you want. And if you're done, you're done. So having upright, Camera profiles, camera raw profiles are awesome to have on my phone. Now, what if it's not a landscape? What if it's something else like a portrait? Well, if it's a portrait, this particular one's in raw. If I go back to my profiles, of course, I have the ability to switch it from Adobe Color to perhaps Adobe Portrait, and that's gonna make it a slight difference here. And of course, I also have the ability to go to Adobe Vivid, especially if the person is standing inside of a landscape. Now. Those are just the raw ones. There are some new artistic, black and white, 
modern and vintage one as well. And so for example, if I go to my artistic profiles, I can really have some fun with this image and get like that artistic look. And you'll notice that when you tap on an artistic one or any one that's not camera raw, you have an amount slider. So I can say, nope, that's not enough. Give me more of that particular artistic five look. And that will give me more of that look or less of that look. So you have really control over these non-destructive profiles. And if this profile is one that you like and want to use over and over again, you can go ahead and add it to your favorites just by tapping the star so that you don't ever have to go and find it and look for it again. So now if I go to my favorites, I've got the original camera uh, or camera raw or six, the original six camera raw ones, as well as my new artistic five. So I can keep applying that over and over and over again. I know a lot of you like to work with black and whites as well. So let me just give you a quick tour of those. Some really cool and nice effects here in black and white. So some are more high, contra high contrasted than others. But again, I'm not losing the color. I'm just switching to a different profile. If I change my mind, I can always go back to my favorites and grab that artistic five and get right back to where I was. And again, applying the amount for that. So again, non-destructive profiles, geometry updates, the ability to work with raw files on your phone in the first place, the ability to sync with the cloud. Any changes I make here will be reflected back on the desktop and vice versa. And of course, any changes I make here will be also editable on the desktop. So it doesn't matter where I apply these changes, they sync up to the cloud and across all my devices. This is Lightroom CC on iOS. Take care and thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.